Welcome back to the Two World Podcast. I'm your host, David Jew, and I'm here with Master Jew. How's it going, Mr. G? It's going pretty good. All right. Anyway, so <laughs> this podcast idea actually came back from like a while, a while back, and I've just had it on my notes for a long time. Okay. And it came up because we're in the uh, IIC. Desperate mode? No, no, no. no. <laughs> we're at the IIC in Alaska. Back in the summer. It's winter now. <laughs> and uh, Grandmaster Nichols, he was, he was talking about something, and he goes, oh, yeah, you know, whenever someone says like, this pattern, oh, everyone goes, oh, no. It's like Tege, oh, Kodong, Juche, Moon Moo. And I thought that was really funny that he said Tege because I have not met someone that likes Tege. Really? Hmm. I mean, I, I ask people, I mean, I, and I've talked to other people, and I go, what's your least favorite pattern? And they go, Tege. Tege for like a colorable pattern. Really? Yeah, they, a lot of people say Tege, and then to hear Master Nichols, Grandmaster Nichols say that. I just thought that was pretty funny. Did he say Tege too? He did say Tege. <laughs> <laughs> he said Tege, Juche, and Moon Moo was his examples. That's I interesting. Th- I think you can huh. understand Juche slash Kodong and um, Moon right. Moo just because... Uh, Lot, yeah, it. that's that's a hard pattern. Those, Those are, are hard, hard patterns. patterns. And Absolutely. so, you know, people go, oh, that pattern. Um, My least favorite pattern? Chanji. Yeah, me too. I have certain <laughs> opinions on that too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's let's go over it. So, you, is that really your least favorite pattern? Uh, I don't know. If it's, we'll just talk about really let's just talk about color belt patterns, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I mean, because yeah, yeah. you have all these other patterns, and my least favorite color belt pattern. Hmm, that's a good question. I don't know if I have a least favorite, but I would say Warang, but there's a reason for that. Right, personal reason. Personal yeah. reason for that. Um, it's a okay pattern. I think it's it's. Now, I wouldn't say that was my favorite. As a color belt, I think Wanyo was my favorite pattern. Right. Um, simple pattern, mm-hmm. but it's also, I don't know, side piercing kick was involved. And, uh, right. No, I like Wanyo too. Kind of, it's, yeah. it's a good warm up pattern. Know, pattern to have. It's interesting because when you look at Huang, it's, it's kind of basic. Yeah. You know, I mean, there are some difficulties to it, but I find Chung Mu to be more interesting. Right. You know, Chung Mu is like way step ahead of Hong. Um, my least favorite, well, I, for a personal reason, is that I had to do a demonstration at a national championship. I was asked to perform Wa Rong. You know, Wa Wang. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, oh, but I haven't practiced that one as much. Can I do, at the time, Juche? That's the one I really like. And actually, that was my favorite pattern. And um, no, no, well, wrong. Well, that, we want you to do that one. I said, oh, OK. And it has, I hadn't been practicing that one very much. And so I'm doing that pattern. And I make a small mistake. Mm-hmm. And in those days, it was a scoring card. Yeah. Out of 10. So the judges go, score! And I get like one, <laughs> two. It's like, oh no, because I made that mistake. Dang. And then the center umpire said, you know why? Yes, sir. You made a mistake. Mm-hmm. Right. And then he says, 10 push ups. I says, yes, sir. So I did 10 push ups in, th- in front of thousands of people. Mm-hmm. And then when I finished, they scored that one. Yeah. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> and so ever, yeah. ever since then, haunted. 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 I've never made another mistake in that pattern since. Uh, yeah. All right, let's talk a little about Tege. That's what we started out with, right? And I think that most people don't like it because of the W shape block. W shape block. W shape block. Yeah, W shape block. Um, but you Why? said you recently. I don't know, it's a lot. I mean, why do you do six W-shaped blocks in a row? <laughs> That's interesting. Because I think there was a, uh, I think I saw a video of someone asked General G that question. Right. Right? Right. He says, well, how much do you need to practice something? Mm-hmm. I mean, you need to practice a lot. I mean, whatever right. technique, you got to practice, practice, practice. Mm-hmm. And then go back and practice some more. Mm-hmm. And um, I think the, his response was all, oh, is two times enough to practice or mm-hmm. something like that. Right. And so, no, yeah, just more practice. Do you buy that? 
I think sometimes you get on like online comments, you get people that do karate and they, they do something similar as W shape and they'll go, well, that doesn't make any sense because the application of those six movements together makes no sense. Like it wouldn't really oh, happen. Oh, it's not because you would block, block, like, yeah, block, yeah. So block. the way that somebody in karate sees is they, they do the application part of all the, the techniques together. So when they do the W shape block, I think they lead it into another technique. And so that's how that application works together. But to have six W shape blocks in a row doesn't seem like it makes much sense. True. I never thought of it that way. From a, if the idea of patterns is to practice against imaginary opponents, right? Yeah. A simulated fight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would say that doesn't make a lot of sense. But then a lot of times when you look at patterns, you just go, that doesn't make any sense. Why yeah. you would do that, right? right? I mean, I never see anyone do that in a street fight or whatever. Right. And so what are patterns for? President Chase said this one time. Well, pra pattern is um, a way to practice fundamental movements. So that is not just a drill. Mm -hmm. That it can be a little bit more, you know, exciting in yeah. some ways. So right. it's, but it really is just practicing skill sets. Right. That's, I, I think ultimately that's what you're doing. Right. It doesn't, some of these techniques don't make sense. You, you see people demonstrate patterns with other p opponents and they do a technique and there's no one there. They just did that technique. Mm -hmm. Like maybe there's someone was going to be there, but they right. didn't, weren't there. So they just performed the technique and that's possible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> but um, to get back to is your least favorite. And the W-shaped block is there is a reason why they don't like it, I guess. Is that why? Yeah, the, the, usually the W-shaped block portion. It feels, it feels silly. Feels silly? Yeah, we don't even silly. do that as a drill that very much, do we? <laughs> no. Yeah. I mean, it's just kind of weird. You chose, you know, that movement six times, but you never see that really in another pattern. You don't practice long fist. You, you get it twice. Right. Up to fourth done. But punching is punching. Upset punch, middle <laughs> knuckle. I mean, like, oh, you get that once in game back or so. So, so by you, the same logic, you know, you would, ha you would have the techniques more to practice. Is that? But W shape block. Yeah, you do it six times. Six yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. Well, we can't really ask for uh, General Che now. Yeah. It's too late. But based on the video, I think I saw, I think it was... He was just saying, well, it's just practice. He's trying to make that pattern diagram, and he was like, I need six movements right here. <laughs> I wonder about that Did I need to end up right here. How do I get back here? <laughs> the only way we can get back here is to throw in another movement. <laughs> uh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, you're overthinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think sometimes yeah. we overthink stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it's a good question. I mean, I think it's a good... It's a good discussion, and we should think about certain things. Um, does it matter? Yeah, I'm not sure if it really matters mm -hmm. from a self-defense point of view, I guess. Right. Well, no, it matters because it all comes down to uh, working those fundamentals, keep training, practice, mm -hmm. practice, practice. And if we're, I mean, honestly, we don't even do W-shaped blocks as a drill very much. Yeah, and it's not something that you really see in real life either. No, it's yeah, not. So. so, I think that's why a lot of people. But there's a lot of techniques that you don't see in real life either. Yeah, no, that's true <laughs> oh. too. But I always kind of think that when it came down to real self defense, I'm 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 gonna pare it down to basically eight techniques. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah, at yeah. At the most. Right, right. Uh, but anyway, After I that. would say though, tege is a very interesting pattern because. It's a, it's a pattern that moves from like L stance to walking stance. Mm -hmm. And you see it a lot. Right. And you see, or maybe into a fixed stance or whatever it is, or long stance. And most of the students, most of the color belt students don't actually do that. Mm -hmm. They don't understand, you know, yeah, you, this is supposed to be walking stance. It's supposed to be wider, but you didn't do it wider. Right. And so that's kind of my pet peeve out like at the end, mm -hmm. yeah. where they do that circular block. And they don't, they're not on the line. It's, 
they're not in the right position because they're just on this line and they think that they're just doing the circular block and it's, it's not correct because the stance is incorrect. Right. And so I get frustrated with that. Right. But that, I think you see a lot more of that in Tegate than any of the other patterns. Right. You have to be more precise, I think, mm -hmm. in your stances. I guess that would be a reason why I don't like that pattern. Yeah. I didn't say I didn't like that pattern. I just said <laughs> that would be a reason. Right. <laughs> Let us know your guys' thoughts on your least favorite colorful pattern. Yes. Everyone's going to write Chanji. Chanji. It's so boring. <laughs> That, that's a difficult pattern, though. Yeah. It really is a difficult yeah, yeah, pattern. Yeah, no, it is difficult. Anyways, as always, don't forget to be safe. Keep training. And we'll see you guys next time. Take one.